Welcome to part 3 of the Wobbly Grid tutorial. In the previous part we have discussed how to change the offset in its Y position uh, according to uh, this divided by 2 and also we have applied colors to every block inside of the grid based on their position. And in this part of the tutorial we are going to animate all the blocks so they get a wobbly effect and that's what we're going to do right now. So first let's head over to our script again and as you can see we have uh, applied here divided by 2 and I don't really like to put in hard numbers in the code so I can uh, I'd rather make a variable of it so I can adjust it in uh, the inspector. So let's adjust all the divided by 2 into some uh, public int. So let's uh, I'll write here a new int and let's call the int um, grid division. And let's copy that one and let's replace it all these twos with the grid division. And the last one is here. Now let's save this one and let's head back over to Unity to see the result of this. Now we should see here grid division and we used to do 2 but what if we would make it 3 and we get a different effect. Let's see what it looks like. And now you get a, some different effect which is pretty nice. You can see much better all these different colors here. So let's head back over to our script and the first thing we're going to do the same as we did with the make colors. Let's make a new boolean and let's call this animate block so we can choose whether to animate or not. Um, and let's head back down and we'll start to adjust our update. So let's write here if animate blocks open and close this one. Now we want to build a new for loop inside of the update that loops through all the uh, blocks inside of the grid. So let's make a for loop for in i is 0 if it's smaller than the uh, grid size wait then plus plus now we're going to write a, a wave um, algorithm and for a wave algorithm we need three different things and that's a scale an amplitude and a frequency so let's head back up and apply these three uh, floats so let's make scale amplitude and frequency and what we're going to do is we're going to write out uh, two different uh, algorithms, one of which is a sinus wave, which will just be like a water wave. And the second one will be a Perlin noise. Uh, and these combined will give it a uh, wobbly, shaky feeling. So let's write out a new float and let's call this wave. You can call this anything you want. And we'll start off by declaring the scale and we'll multiply this by math of dot uh, sinus and inside of a sinus we'll declare the time so time dot and we'll take here a fixed time times its amplitude amplitude plus the number it's in, the i, times its frequency. So 
So now we've got a uh, sinus wave, but this is not enough because we want to make a second wave. So let's call this wave's second wave. And uh, what we'll do here is do again the scale, um, which we will multiply by mathf dot Perlin noise. And this requires an X and a Y. And there we will just copy um, the line that we had above here. So this is the X and this is the Y. Let's close that one. And that's the end of our statement there. Now we just have to put these into a line to set the transform the position of the block. So let's write out a block list. It's Y dot it's transform dot position is a, a new factor three and for the x it's just a block list um, dot it's transform dot it's position dot x and for the y it's the let's copy this is the same as what it was, it's uh, y plus the um, now here we want to put in the, the waves, so it's new wave um, multiplied by wave 2. So the combination of those. And I also like to um, add here something else to uh, give it a little bit more, even more randomness. So let's multiply this by a random dot range in between somewhere like 1 and 3 and now we can set up the Z and that will be the end of our line there now if you didn't really understand what I did here with the wave uh, why I made the scale and the amplitude and frequency. I will go into this in great detail uh, in my other tutorial called the Ripple Water Shader. So if you want to know about that then I suggest you look at that. But for now we're going to move on and let's save the script and head back over to Unity. Now let's go to our uh, grid object and there we have our uh, scale, amplitude and frequency. Now let's put the scale to like 0 0.1 and this one to 3, 3. And let's make the grid division back to 2. Now you can see it's, uh, it's wobbling. Now you can play around with these. Now to get something like the example from the start of this tutorial, you would select the sphere as a block and we would get the blocks width and length would be like 15, grids height would be like 0 0.3, um, spacing in between 7, scale 0 0.4, amplitude 3, frequency 1, grid size would be 32 by times 32 and the division would be three times and then we get the result like this where uh, you've got this wobbly uh, wavy uh, thing right here with all these beautiful colors now um, of course you could do anything you want you can make it like really really tiny or uh, like four and uh, this could be something like a train. Maybe you shouldn't uh, use spheres for this, but uh, it could be fun. Let me make it one. You just get a stroke of... Uh, it's like a worm. So a lot of possibilities and uh, this comes to the end of my tutorial. I hope you learned something and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And see you next time. Thank you for watching.